Riccardo Casarini. The Marvel House is the work of Riccardo Casarini, an Italian motorcycle builder who grew up in a family of classic car restorers in the town of Volgra in northern Italy. He grew up having adventures on bicycles as many of us did, developing a love of two-wheeled machines in the process. After high school Riccardo went to the University of Pavia where he attained a degree in philosophy, fittingly his thesis was titled Aesthetic of Speed. After graduation Riccardo spent time in Barcelona working on custom motorcycles, before moving back to Italy and starting Ludwig, to build his own creations. The Marvel House the Marvel House started life as a guy or a Nordwest 350, an 90s era adventure bike with a dock, liquid cooled, four stroke, single cylinder engine capable of approximately 33 horsepower. For the early 1990s, the Nordwest 350 was a relatively advanced motorcycle, it was fitted with 41mm upside down forks, twin front discs, a power drive monoshock and the engine was utilized as a stressed member to help keep weight down to 140 kg, dry. The original Gaiora 348cc engine wasn't quite punchy enough for what Ricardo had in mind, so he picked up a Gaiora RC600 motor and reconditioned it. Once the new engine was ready to go he squeezed it into the bike, and then decided to swap out the original 270mm front discs for a 310mm twin disc set from the Yamaha Phaser, with a new 245mm single disc on the back sourced from a Ducati Monster. The additional stopping power was needed to balance the significant power output increase from the new engine, taking the bike from 33 horsepower to 53 plus HP. Due to the fact that the bike was built with a more direct road-going focus, the oil in the forks was swapped out for a replacement with higher viscosity, and a new piggyback Boge monoshock was fitted in the rear. The original plastic fender was swapped out for new units front and back, a new headlight was sourced too, as well as a more traditional looking fuel tank. Once a seat seat pan had been shaped up it was upholstered with a generous layer of foam to keep it comfortable on longer rides. Perhaps the most eye-catching element to the build is the paintwork. It was influenced by the Bertolt Brecht quote unhappy is the land that needs a hero and it was completed by the Italian artist Frank F.K. The fuel tank looks like the sort of thing you might find on display in a modern art gallery, and I certainly wouldn't say no to putting on the mantelpiece, 